Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doug here with Doug Sales. Welcome to my first thrift haul video in a very long time. So uh, hopefully you saw the uh, the update video of like what I've been doing for the past four years or so, uh, you know or so. So um, if you want to, you can go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it. But uh, this is what we're gonna be doing here, like. I'm going to go on thrift hauls during the week and then maybe once a week I'll do like a thrift haul video and like show you some items uh, that I picked that are pretty interesting and I hope do very well. And and then, uh, you know, maybe once every two weeks we'll do like a, a sales update video. So, you know, we're going to keep it real simple here in the beginning. And, and then when I really start sourcing a lot, maybe I'll uh, take you on some sourcing trips uh, like I used to do before but yeah this video is just uh, tell you what I did thrifting this week I did do some sourcing this week I, I know in my video I said I'm not doing a lot of sourcing but I told you I've got the bug again so I just I can't I, can't, I couldn't help it I couldn't help it I couldn't stay away from the thrift stores and I think I did pretty good I'm gonna tell you how much I spent and how much uh, how many items I got and how much I paid Per item and then I'm going to show off about 10 items uh, that I have back here so first of all let's um, I'm gonna bring up how much I spent this week from last Saturday and I'm recording this video it's a Friday night so I don't know when it'll post but uh, uh, from Saturday to Friday today I spent hundred and forty six dollars and seven cents in the thrift stores I got 42 items which comes out to be three dollars and 47 cents per item give myself a round of applause because that's fantastic so one 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 guy I, I didn't go to the thrift store for one guy he i have a i've been trying to reach out to people to see if they have stuff to sell and this guy contacted me and he had some hats and some shirts not all of them were vintage or big money makers but he did have a few, like a couple of vintage shirts and a couple of, uh, a couple of, ha a few hats. And I bought some items from him and I paid him $50. So I paid him $50 for like seven items. So that's the most I spent at one trip. Because you're not, you're not going to be able to pay these people when you meet people. You're not going to be able to pay them thrift store prices. They're just not going to give up their stuff for that cheap. So, but still, even with my thrift store trips, uh, Everything came out to be three dollars and forty-seven cents per item. That's for forty-two items, and that's awesome. That's awesome. So I'm really excited about that. So let's get right to it. I will uh, show you some things uh, that I picked up. Okay, first off, we're gonna start off with a couple of hats that I picked up. This is uh, these hats I picked up from uh, the guy that I told you I paid fifty dollars for this stuff. So. I'm just going to show off a couple of the hats here. We have a, a Sunday, January 30th of the year 2000 Super Bowl 34 in Atlanta, Georgia. So there you go. There's a Super Bowl hat. It's a snapback. I'm hoping to get about $25 for this thing. Well, I'm just hoping. So uh, the next hat was the worth the trip. It was worth the trip. It's a uh, Notre Dame. It is a what is it, logo, yeah, logo athletic company hat, and you see the coloring. I don't know if you've uh, if you've ever seen these, but uh, these are really close to the shark tooth hats. If you don't know what a shark tooth hat is, go to go to eBay and type in shark tooth hat, and look at all the sales and how much they sell for. This is one of the next best style of hats that you can get and i didn't know it at the time when i bought this hat i paid ten dollars for this hat in particular when i break down what i bought from him i paid ten dollars for this hat and i researched it and i should be able to get anywhere between 60 to 85 dollars for this hat so i paid 50 for that entire haul with him so this one hat's gonna pay for all those items i got from him all right, now on to some shirts. So you know my main thing is vintage, but I don't only pick vintage items. So here we have a an Under Armour shirt. 
and you're like, oh, that's just a very simple dry fit polo. What's so special about it? Well, what's so special about it is if I look closer, see, it says Aflac. It says Aflac on it. I like to pick these shirts up that have company names on them because people look to buy those uh, so they can wear them to work. So I've sold plenty. I've sold plenty of like Nike dry fits or Adidas, Adidas dry fits with like company names on them. And uh, so this is no different. I'm hoping to get 20 to $25 for this shirt. All right, next, I thought this was kind of a unique find. It's uh, Orvis. Uh, you know the you know the brand Orvis? This is a vintage Orvis polo shirt from the 80s. And it looks like it's never been worn. And it's got, it's got a pocket on it. It's like in very good condition. And I'll show you the tag. Hey, look at that. There's the Orvis tag from the 80s. And it looks like it's never been worn. It's in perfect condition. Uh, and I'm a sucker for vintage golf shirts and polo shirts for some reason. So I found this one. And I think I only paid like two bucks for this thing. So that was a good find. And I'm hoping to get 30 to $35 for it. All right, if you watched any of my old videos, and I know some of you did, you know I'm a sucker for plain blank t-shirts especially with the pocket on it uh this one doesn't have a tag the tag's been ripped out so uh, you're like okay doug well then how do you know it's vintage how do you know this is vintage well look at the stitching on the sleeve let's get real close that is a single stitch if you look at a lot of shirts they have two stitches going across right there this one has a single stitch on the sleeve and that indicates that this shirt is from 1995 or older so uh, a lot of companies went away with a single stitch kind of like mid 95 or after 95 so uh if you if you're ever wondering if something's old or not you can look at the stitch right here just you know look at a shirt that you have on right now like a t-shirt if it's if it's newer and you'll see the two lines of stitches on the sleeve so that's one way to tell. Also include that in your in your title on eBay. If you if you have any single stitch t-shirts, include it in there like single stitch because people look for single stitch shirts regardless of what's on it. So just a little tip. All right, now this thing is just beautiful. Okay, it's it's so ugly. It's beautiful. It reminds me of my second grade teacher. So it, it's denim and it's. It, there's the tags ripped out, but I can tell this is like 90s style. So it's going to be from the 90s. It's got some metal buttons on it. And it's just got like some floral patterns on it. And I got this thing for a dollar and I'm really just trying this out. I want to see if I can sell this. So sometimes when you see something for a dollar and it just looks kind of ridiculous, like I'll take a chance on it. I have no idea if I'll be able to sell this or not, but it's very unique. And I'm hoping one day I can give you a sales update video and show you this thing sold. I'm going to try to sell it for $29.99. Here's a good find. Good old Tommy Bahama. And this is a 3X, I think. Let's see. Yeah, 3XL. So... Pretty big shirt, you know, the big shirts sell pretty well. And uh, the thing that I liked about this and me being a bourbon guy as well, I love bourbon. Uh, it says rise to the occasion, but it's spelled it R-Y-E, like rye, like, like, like a rye bourbon. And it's got a little cocktail on it. Let's see if we, there you go. There you go. It, it's hard, my, my my microphone arm is like kind of in the way a little bit, so I'm trying to stay like close to the microphone as I can. But anyway, so yeah, uh, Tommy Bahama shirts are always good. They're always buying, and um, hoping to sell this for between twenty and twenty-five dollars. All right, here's another one I'm taking a chance on. It's a vintage LL Bean polo shirt. As you see right here, it has like uh, like a bunch of fish on it. And here's the vintage LL Bean. This is from the 90s. 
So uh, if you search LL Bean, mainly uh, like vintage stuff from LL Bean, like their polos and like their long sleeve button ups and like flannels, they do really well. They do really well. When I say really well, I mean, you'll get anywhere between 25 and 35 up to $40 for some of the items. And uh, I'm going to try to sell that one, that particular one for about $25. Now, I thought this one was really cool. This is, uh, this is a golf shirt from the 1980s. The brand is called Hogan. Now, I've never heard of Hogan. So I haven't researched this yet either. But this thing still has the original tags on it. And it has a tag right here. It's got a date on it of uh, 9 of 1984 right here. So this is from 1984. Still has the original tags. Here, I'll hold it up in front of the mic. I'm figuring this out as I go. So you can see it still has the original tags on it. And it's in good shape. It's got a nice little emblem on it. It's got a pocket. Uh, I'll show you the tag. There it is. There's the tag, Hogan. And it still has the original price tag on it. You can get that close. You can see where it says 984. And this thing was selling for $25 back in 1984. Um, I, I am a person who wants to start high. I, I really, I'm not, I'm not giving my stuff away this time. Like I, I was watching some of my old videos when I was, uh, deciding that I was going to start doing this again. And like, I was selling stuff so cheap, so cheap. And like, I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm going to start high with this one. I'm going to list this at $39.99 and I see if I get any bites on it. And uh, we'll, we'll hope for the best. Oh, I do. I just now saw this. Look, uh, look at that. They put the price from the thrift store like right on that tag. I hate that. I'll see if I can get that off. Oh, it says Ben Hogan. So this is a Ben Hogan shirt. Okay, I'm, I'm familiar with that name. All right. Anyway, so that's a pretty cool shirt. Hope we can sell it for forty dollars. All right, I got this one from the guy that uh, sold me the two hats, and he had some t-shirts for me. This is one of the t-shirts. It's an Alabama Crimson Tide t-shirt. This is also a single stitch shirt. So if you look at the, the stitch on the sleeve, it has one stitch. So that means it's 1985, I mean 1995 or older. So I believe this is going to be early 90s. It has the 90s jerseys tag on it. You can see the jerseys tag right there. Uh, so look out for that tag as well. But uh, this is a pretty cool shirt. Uh, there's not a lot of ones this style on eBay. Um, so I'm going to try to get this one out of the store for about $35. We're going to see if anybody will buy it on it for $35. This is another cool um, vintage t-shirt. Uh, it's also a single stitch shirt. So it's 1995 or older. This is a brewery. It says Beaver Street Brewery in Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, I'm a sucker for brewery shirts, especially vintage ones. So pretty cool shirt. It's uh, Fruit of the Loom. There's your 90s Fruit of the Loom tag right there. So be on the lookout for that tag. Um, hoping I can sell this shirt for anywhere from $25 to $30. All right, next we got two of the more unique items that I picked up. Here, this one, I may need to stand up to show you this one. Let's see. Okay, so this is a windbreaker, like a windbreaker jacket. It's got a hood on it with uh, the drawstrings. It is Levi's brand. Here, I'll show you the tag. Levi's, this is from 1984. I'll let you read this patch. 1984 Olympic torch relay. So I don't know if this is what they wore while they were doing the relays or if this was something that was sold like as a souvenir or what, but it's a very cool jacket. Um, I was really hoping for the best on this one. I was hoping this would be somewhere in the 75 to hundred dollar range. But I did research it already, and somebody sold one. Um, I don't know when, but somebody sold one for like $28. And that was disappointing. 
and somebody else is trying to sell one for 50. So if I want to compete with the $50 one, then I could, but there's one defect on this one. When I found this jacket, when I was researching on this side, if on the left side of the jacket, Yeah, if you're looking at the screen, it's on the left. There should be a Levi's patch, like a Levi's patch. And you can see where it's missing if you look close enough. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but the Levi's patch is missing. I don't know if that's gonna matter to some people. And then uh, the sleeves right here is kind of like, you can see how it's kind of, like the, the pattern's kind of broken up. Well, it's like that all the way around. Still a cool jacket and so, like I said, the, the price is one sold for like $28 and somebody's trying to sell one for like 50 So I'm hoping to go somewhere in between that. So uh, hopefully I'll have that on a sales update video one day for you. And last but not least, I found a vintage Pendleton plaid button up that's in perfect condition. Uh, as you can see, there's no, usually a lot of these, um, shirts have holes in them or rips or anything like that and this one has none it is in absolute perfect condition um it's from the 80s wait is that a hole i'm just now seeing a hole yes there is there's a small hole like right here but it's very very small i don't know if it'll matter but anyway this is from the 80s i'll show you the 80s pendleton tag there it is and I did some research on this one already and since the last time I was selling it looks like the demand for Pendleton has maybe like not, the demand hasn't gone down but I think it's I think eBay is kind of saturated with them so you can't really get the money you used to cut with them does that make sense so it looks like this shirt's gonna sell for in the $30 range when before it would probably sell for double that. It would probably sell for 50 or 60, but yeah, that's it. That's 10 or 11 items or how many I wasn't counting that I picked up from the thrift store and thrift sourcing this week. All right guys, thanks for tuning in uh, to my first thrift haul video in a long time. I hope you enjoyed seeing the items uh, that I picked. Uh, maybe you learned something. I don't know. Uh, I'm not an expert of this. I'll never claim to be an expert, but these are just things that I know about selling on eBay and about vintage items and stuff like that, that I want to try to pass on to you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. New viewers, subscribe and come back. We're going to do this every week. I hope to have a sales update video for you uh, sometime soon. And uh, the socials are down in the description. Follow me on Instagram at Blue City Vintage and, and on Facebook, the same Blue City Vintage. All right, guys, I'll see you next video. Take care.